Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Hannah and I make some videos about primarily Weight Watchers but also just um, food in general. And today I wanted to share a little bit about uh, the progress that has happened since my last video here that I posted. Let me get out my notes. Um, so after I posted this video last week um, about things that I've learned over the past 10 years about being on Weight Watchers, I did some reflecting before, of course, but really after and editing my video, it's, it's really when it started to sink in and, sit, and, and I had some uh, thoughts that uh, were triggering and I thought I really need to just do this what I'm what I'm saying out loud so I appreciate that I was able to say some of these things out loud um, because I was feeling kind of I was feeling miserable um, so I, I really appreciate you liking the videos um, subscribing thank you so much and I just want to say Thank you for those of you who have commented and I've actually received a few emails as well um, specifically talking about like your experience and um, a lot of you dish out some um, simple advice um, or what you have done before and I really really appreciate that so I, I thank you for this community that we're building here. So uh, last week I talked a little bit about um, how I've gained and, and kept on these, pa these 10 pounds. So um, today I wanted to talk about mindset, how these past seven days have changed. Um, I want to talk about cravings, um, snacks and what I'm eating, and um, why. <laughs> so but I just wanted to mention uh, this one thing, and this is for all and everyone, but um, I am feeling lousy lately because of endometriosis. Uh, one in 10 females has been diagnosed with endometriosis. A lot of people are walking around this world that don't know they have it. I have it. And um, if you have an autoimmune disorder, which is technically separate from endo, um, you know what I'm talking about when I say flare-ups. Um, anything gut related in in our gut health so um, those 10 pounds were I was starting to notice that uh, were I would have flare-ups by food triggering stress you name it I could go on I could make a 25 minute video just on that but that's not what we're here for today but I just wanted to give you a little bit of background as to why I've changed so dramatically and shifted my mindset quickly. Um, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with feeling like crud uh, and I really needed to make some uh, decisions, some really tough decisions. So here we go. The mindset was um, I need to make a change. You're either going to do it Hannah or you're not. Um, the focus is food rather than weight, but as you probably know, the food that I've, the decisions that I've made with the food over the past week has definitely made a difference on the scale. I'm not too concerned about that right now though. Um, foods. Let's talk about food for a moment. Um, I immediately said I, to myself, stop eating processed foods. I was starting to notice some triggering foods. Um, I go snack on 12 to um, toastito, multi-grain Tostito chips. They're like, I forget how many points, but it's a snack. I wiped that out completely and I started eating fruits and vegetables instead of like a quick snack like that, uh, just to give you a sense. Um, I have not dropped the coffee. I don't think I can, that's a whole other, that's a whole other conversation. But anyway, no dessert. Absolutely no dessert. Even those, um, that smoothie, uh, I don't want to call it a smoothie, but that homemade ice cream, I knocked that out just, just because. I don't know if it's the bananas, because I have a lot of banana in my diet, but um, I'm eating my dinner earlier. Uh, more salads. Some of you are like, yeah, we know this, but really, when it came down to it, it's like, well, can I have this or will I just just do make the decision 
and put the salad together. And I went for the salad pretty much almost every day this week, I believe. Um, I had a lot more green vegetables. I made a conscious effort to recognize how much water I was drinking and I tried to stay away from gluten stuff. So I'm, I'm not like gluten free. I don't have any, well, who knows? I've never been to a specialist to see if I have any food sensitivities, but I know if you know your body, um, you can sometimes recognize these flare ups and that's what Weight Watchers has taught me is when you eat really well and, and, and cleaner, uh, you notice that when you go off um, and eat like a cupcake, that could be triggering. So gluten is a trigger for me. So even foods that like a wrap, I said no to a few wraps this week. Um, anyways, so I've noticed um, some stuff on the scale. I will share, for, take this for what it's worth, four pounds. I know that I have not lost four pounds of fat, <laughs> but I notice around my midsection, I feel a lot better and more comfortable. So I'm happy with that progress. Uh, here's another one. Like I mentioned before, I am right now not experiencing any cravings. I'm not craving anything right now and I think there was a little uh, twist in my mindset that shifted and said, okay, Hannah, focus. And I'm, I'm not experiencing any cravings. So I'll talk a little bit more about that maybe right now. So the first two days were really hard, were really, really hard. I'd walk into my pantry and I, <laughs> I'd look around and I'd be like, no, no, Mm, I really want that. I can't, I can't do that because of the repercussions and I really want to get um, this underway here. So that was really, really hard. And for two nights, I went to bed hungry. I had those gurgling sounds. Um, just for those first two nights, I had really big salads for dinner. But anyways, I don't have that anymore. I find that really interesting, but um, I did not skip any meals, no meals. That's really important. And I've actually taken out my Invisalign. I know it's annoying, but I did take out my Invisalign the other day, multiple times to have watermelon, just like a bunch of watermelon for seven minutes or whatever. And I popped these back in, or um, I had a lot of cucumbers because we have fresh cucumbers from the garden right now, which is wonderful. Um, and I was willing to do that and I am going to continue doing that. Uh, so yes, just like I mentioned reading from my notes here, just more snack time. Uh, so I went to work last week. I'm a teacher, but I went to work one day last week because I'm on a specific team and we had a five hour meeting. And when I got home, yes, I was exhausted. I had a little bit of a headache and I wanted coffee, um, which is so normal. I had my coffee, but I also had a green smoothie. I usually have my green smoothies in the morning, but I made that smoothie and I didn't really want to drink it, but on the other side, I was like, Hannah, you need to drink this. So I had smoothies last week um, in the afternoon and I'll have another one um, today. Uh, what I put in my smoothies, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this. Um, it's all over Instagram. But this week, I put spinach, carrots, apple, blueberries, and water. I left the banana out. Um, something was just telling me to keep that out. And that's what I had. I had it in my little Yeti cup. And um, I I drank it, and and that was great. And that held me over till dinner time. So I'm really proud of myself for that. And that, those are the, the things that I have done. There's just a huge shift in the, the weather here. Um, we have that tropical storm coming in. So <laughs> we're gonna start getting some rain. So, oh, okay, way off track. Sorry about that. Anyway, so going back to the beginning, um, Man, seven days ago I sat right here 
and I know what I told you and uh, I think my mindset is in a different place now and I need to stay focused and thank you for uh, you encourage me to to make these food choices and there's a lot of other things that go into this too we all have lives we all have stressors there's a lot of stuff going on I start work tomorrow full-time full-on work so we'll see where I am next week um, but I can't wait. I think maybe next week I'll share some progress with you. And of course, I will be upfront and honest with you. If you would like to um, hear from me about how that week went with uh, life, uh, stressors, coming home from work, what I packed for lunch, just uh, either give this a, a thumbs up or just drop a comment below. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for hearing me out. And I hope I inspired you to make a few shifts in your diet too or wherever you're at. So uh, you take care of yourself and have a great week. Bye-bye.